I would like to dedicate that applause for what I would like to call the fathers of the strikes or the sit downs in the, in the United States, which is the, the workers from 1937. right here on Detroit and say a couple of the, the show on, on my local. I would like to start saying like my local don't have nothing different than the other locals. It's the same like every local around the world. We're, we are not united you see on the, on the, on the, in the movie. We are like everyone. We have a struggle between us. We have fight between us. When our, in, in our company, that we have peace from the company, we fight each other. And I have a conclusion. We fight each other to practice against the, with the company. We, have, we fight for years and years against the company. So it's not our first stroke we have against the company. We we fight to bring you in to to be part of our local, and then we have a fight a first contract because the all union they have a three three years contract with the company because it was not like working for the workers it was working for the employee. So when you came to us, our first contract was we made. Our first fight was we made three dollars for the first contract. When we find out the company was trying to move or trying to close the operation, it was in the middle of the night. It was moving uh, office equipment. The plant manager and a, and a former plant manager and like a five former uh, supervisors and a four crew driver. It was moving equipment in the night. And then in the weekend. Uh, in the middle of the day, it was moving trailers in the parking lot. So one of my co-workers and me, we be watching the, the, the company. It was the first movement of equipment. It was on Wednesday. Since Wednesday to the weekend, we made crews of people watching the trailers, the, the, the company, to don't move anything else. We we watched the company around 24 hours. Crews of two people every four hours. We change people. When we find out. Can you say it in Spanish? Well, enseguida, si puede. Okay. Aunque sea sumarizado, tenemos un grupo y a veces. Yeah, when Gracias. 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 So, after that, uh, we follow those trailers to the southwest of Chicago, 30 minutes far away from the company. So, after that, I announced, I, I called my union and I like to let her know, you know what? Uh, the company is moving drivers and they put in a, a storage place on Southside. You come and he say, well, I'm out of the town, but I'm going to be there. So I wait for him like a couple hours. When he came, we start making, we spent so many times around the, the place. And we was thinking, what would you, what would you do? What are, a lot of things pass in our minds. Around four hours, we've been sitting, sit, sitting there in our cars, watching, moving around there, watch what driver's number they get it. And then he asked me, what about if we do this? What about we do that? And I said, what about we, we grab the drivers from, all, from one of, I got friends, they, they are drivers. They could come and grab the drivers. And then the union forced the company to deal with us. Say, no, 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 probably they, they're going to say that we stole the equipment. No. <laughs> a lot of this happens. We think of uh, bust the, 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 the tires, a lot of stuff. And then a union representative, Mark Meister, told me, what about if the people stay in the plant? And I said, well, that's a great idea. And then we bring to the executive board. We told the executive board about the that. The, the, the executive board is 12 co-workers. And from six people, from 12 people, we have six 
people because we they're like a we explain to people the race we could be arrested if you got a problems with the law or you are an undocument in an undocument you're gonna be in trouble so we don't want nobody risking so we decide to make make volunteers and then we start receiving calls from the from the workers hey the supervisor say don't show at six o'clock in the morning they told us to come at 10 o'clock because they want to give us the bad news and they're not going to like it. So we start calling my people, you know what? Don't listen to the company, we're going to be at 6 o'clock because you want to receive instructions from the union. So we, and then and the next day, Monday, we start going, the leaders going car by car, looking for volunteers to stay in the plant. And from that day, we found out 40, 45 people decide to end it. And the majority was women. So. so we came to the company, and the company said, "Well, we don't have enough money. We have to give it back to those machineries, to the back, to the banks, because they are the owners. We are not the owners now, and we have to cut uh, some. We want to make a massive laid off. And and uh, the other thing is." Uh, we don't have to pay you your salaries and then we don't have to pay to buy work material. So please guys, you have to continue working and, to, and then the, 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 the bank is going to give us the more, more uh, credit for depending on how many windows we sell. So we keep working and normally in December the 2nd, they, they make a, a, a meeting. Usually the company make meetings and they advise a week before, or a day before, but never five minutes before. And that day they told us we have an extra official meeting right now, and they announced they're gonna close the operations. They told us you guys don't wanna receive your vacations, ready earned. You don't wanna receive your check. Well, well, you're gonna receive these checks and the previous check, but probably it's gonna pounce. Oh. And the health insurance. It's going to cover to December the 15th. Usually when they lay off, they have to just cover to the end of the month. They tell us they're going to cover to December the 15th. And you guys have to work until the until Friday the 5th. If not, it's like you resign and you're, you're not going to be able to collect unemployment. So we say, well, we, work, we keep working to December the 5th. When we came on December the 5th, the company told us, you know God, what? When the, when the health insurers find out that we're going to have check operations, they cancel immediately the, the coverage. So, in, and go and talk to your co the, the co-workers because we feel, we're afraid. So they're going to start yelling at us and say, the uh, bitch is not in essence. So we decide, we talk to the people, we explain to the people, and we say, we don't want to work. We're going to stay until we get what we earn. So, yeah. we And we set up a meeting with the, with the company at, at 12 o'clock in the afternoon. We go to the bank. The owner of the company, he don't show that day. We come back to the, to the plan and we explain to the workers. At that moment, we start making teams of people. We say, well, we, we can spend 24, six hours here. We have to live, uh, we have to live, uh, make turns, seven, eight hours each shift. We have to make people watching the, the doors. We have to make people clean and other other things. But you're here in the, in, the, in the movie. Then Saturday we have a lot of support from a lot of unions from all all, all over the country. We receive support from the uh, religious communities. We receive uh, normal workers from different places. On Sunday. We received the, the, the your Reverend Jesse Jackson bring some turkeys and food for the, our kids. Uh, on Monday when we come back to the negotiations, the president of the company he was asking for his wages, for his salary, to pay his cards, to pay his white collar people. And the union say, you know what? We are fighting for the workers. We are not fighting for your your benefits. It's your obligation to pay the workers. We asked how much is his salary in everything. And he said, my salary is quarter of a million. And the, the, his cards, his cards, is one. 
almost a thousand each car. In that moment I say, I can't believe it. One person behind the desk just sitting down. 